Before we use the arc tool, let's go ahead and just draw a square in our model space. It doesn't really matter the length of it. I just want it to fill up the space. Now to use the arc tool, which is located right here, it's also A as a keyboard shortcut. It's a three click process. And like the polygon and circle tool, it has a number of sides. For me, I never really change this number of sides. If you're doing more detailed work, you may find that 12 sides is too many. It really depends on your specific workflow. But for me, 90% of the time, I don't change this. Now what I want to do is I want to create a perfect fillet, a round corner on this edge here. And I'm just going to start with an arbitrary point right here. So I'll click on the edge. It's my first click. My second click, I want to be on this edge. And you'll notice something as I hover down. You'll feel it snap. And it's snapping with that purple or magenta color. That's telling me that those two angles are 45 degrees each, giving us a perfect fillet. So I can click, set my endpoint. And then my third click is going to actually determine the radius. So in this case, I could type in the value manually, or I can hover until I see the magenta color again, letting me know that this is tangent to the edge. In that case, I'll click again to give our perfect edge. Now notice that there are two different line weights in SketchUp. There's the profile edges, which is the thick line defining the outside or the profile of your geometry. And then there's this thin line. And that thin line determines the separation or break between two surfaces. If we were to use the eraser and erase these two edges, you can see that that profile edge comes back up there. Now, a great thing about the arc tool is as you're drawing with it, say I draw this arc here, on my third click, you'll notice another thing, and that's tangent to one edge. So see the cyan color? That's telling me that this arc is tangent to the horizontal line here. If I move further down, I'll get another tangent line right there. And that's telling me that this arc is tangent to the vertical edge, or this edge here. It's very useful because as you continue drawing with the arc tool, so if I just draw over here, you'll see that it wants to draw and continue drawing in a tangent. And it's a great way to create landscapes or oval shapes, or any kind of organic form.